morning everyone welcome back to the first weekly vlog after Christmas I hope you all had a lovely Christmas heading into New Year now it's actually quite bright this morning but who else is fed up with all this rain in the UK it's so depressing so dark I swear I suffer from sad someone snoring away I hope that's not too irritating but um, yeah she's had a little play she absolutely loves that ball machine I'm trying to train her to put the balls in herself but she is just not getting that at all I put it in the hallway so that it shoots to the bottom of the kitchen um, and she'll get the ball and she'll hover over the machine as if she's going to put the ball in and then she drops the ball next to the machine and then comes to me and says, you know, will you put the ball in the machine for me? That's as far as we've got. <laughs> it's quite funny. <coughs> we'll get there in the end. But she's, she's just having her morning doze now. She's always very sleepy in the mornings. Oh, sorry, did I wake you? Leave me alone, Mum. I want to be you. Anyway, New Year coming up, New Year's Eve, so I need to find an outfit this week. I did have a green jacket delivered, but I don't think it looks quite right. So I've got to go out and find something to wear. I don't have a lot of evening clothes, not a lot of evening wear, because I don't go out that much really. Um, but you want something nice to wear, don't you, on New Year's Eve? And I refuse to buy a really glitzy dress that I'm going to wear once and it's going to get thrown in the wardrobe, never to be worn again. I like to find things that I think, yeah, that will look good tonight, but I'll also wear it this time and this time. So um, I'm going to think about that. I'm going to have a scour online and see what I find. I might go to Reese because um, I love the Reese sale and I normally shop it online but it flies out so quick so I'm, I might travel to a shop this time I'm thinking about it um, yeah the new year what are we gonna do I'm gonna try and stick, stick to my two vlogs a week which I do find quite hard going actually but I like to do one fashion and one weekly just what's going on in my life vlog you all seem to enjoy them so and by the way thank you for all the uh, wishes for Sarah passing her test I am thoroughly enjoying saying should we go to blah blah come and pick me up you know and she picks me up in the car it's lovely I'm not complaining about that one what else have I got going on? I, on the 6th of January I'm having a new boiler fitted so that is going to be a lot to do. I've got to empty the airing cupboard, the loft, the cupboard where the boiler is which is where I do my filming. It's going to be a real upheaval. Not looking forward to that but we do need a new boiler. <coughs> yeah. Um, I'm actually going to use my new face this morning. I've been mentioning this on the vlogs and quite a few of you have asked for a demonstration. Um, I'm using the, the uh, current body LED face mask as well which I'm really enjoying but I pair it with this. I normally do the LED mask in the morning first because you have to have a clean face so I'll use that I use it every other morning at the moment and then I'll use this after because you have to put the gel on your face so yeah but I use this every morning every morning and it's really helping keep those gels at bay you can't have any makeup on or anything either when you're using this so yeah this, I normally get up in the mornings run through my emails couple of cups of tea 
and then I think right start the day and this is normally how I start the day with the Trinity new face um, it's microcurrent so this is exercising those muscles in your face basically and it will just keep them a little bit tighter and I love it I absolutely love it you can go and have microcurrent at um, salons it's quite expensive they are a fair bit stronger than the device I've got here you'll notice the difference straight away but with this I find it's just enough to help with that sagging that's what I use it for the most I, keep, I don't use it on my forehead I've got some really deep lines that are going downwards at the sides here and I keep thinking I must take more time and start using it on my forehead as well I only use it in this area and you apparently you can use this on your neck as well there's lots of tutorials for this on YouTube so uh, if you're interested in more information you can look at those or you can carry on watching me um, yeah it's a good piece of kit and I totally recommend it I would not be without it let's put this tea down so you need some conduction gel to use with this and you can buy it off current body but it's really expensive you get a little tube I bought this off of um, Amazon I think it was only about seven pounds for two of these bottles and you only need a tiny amount as well it's quite thick you're snoring so I'll rub that on there I did quite well I went out last night we've gone out so much over Christmas I've never had such a hectic entertaining Christmas I had 12 people here for dinner and it went swimmingly I was so pleased it was a great day and I'll definitely consider doing it again um, yeah but we went out last night and went to friends after and I must have got home and just got in bed and went like that and didn't move because this is how I woke up with my hair this morning I've not even combed it there is hairspray in it it is naughty but I was like that's quite good <laughs> I woke up like that I'm quite pleased yeah so turn this on I've got it on the highest setting and then you'll just glide that up there wait for the beat There you go. And I got there three or four times like that. If you haven't got enough conductive gel on, you can really feel it. It's really tingly, so you have to use it. And I always wipe these balls after as well because otherwise the gel dries on on it and then I'm going up to the next stage. Just a few up there. I find using it every day, you, you don't have to concentrate on it so much. I just do my own little routine on here and I find that that's enough. And I'm sort of just pulling it up, pulling it up a little bit. And then I'll do that scoop the skin up <laughs> and hope that it's going to stay there a little bit and while I'm watching TV I'll just keep repeating this for about five minutes And then at the mouth area here, I tend to sort of do it in a C. So it's just lifting that. Mm. 
Right, I'm going to carry on and do the other side and put some music on so you don't have to listen to this one. the face now get ready for the day see what we've got in store someone's dreaming <laughs> I've just had a email from Marx's to say that my new in haul is ready for delivery and I'm excited, I'm always excited about getting a haul, trying it on, pressing it all, getting it all ready. So that will be next week. Um, I'm just using the Youth Bomb. This is the, it's so dark in here, Biologic Collagen Peptide Cream. Yeah. You put this on and your face goes it's like it sucks it up like a straw and it's so hydrating I love it I've mainly been using it at night because it hasn't got any SPF I've had the heating on quite a lot and I was just thinking what cream am I going to use and I just reached for it naughty because it's no SPF but it is as black as black out there you can see how dark the room is. I'm right on top of the window here. It is teeming it down. Teeming it down. And Bo's woke up as you can see and wants to play. So I'm just going to get ready quick. Shoot to Marxies. I've got to go to Tesco's as well. I'm going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury. Magic foundation. I'm loving this foundation. It's got really good coverage, really good. And I find that it really lasts as well. I hope I don't look too orangey because it's dark. And I find that when it's dark, that's when the camera makes me look orangey. Tesco's and get Bo some bits. She needs some dog meal. Have any of you had a problem with Tesco's deliveries? Sometimes the shelves are empty. I went into the fruit aisle the other day and it was completely empty. And dog meal is one of the things that I find hard to get. So I hope I'm not going to have to shop around just to get some dog meal. It's really irritating and eggs, there's no eggs. I've been stealing eggs from, from the sun, from the chickens. Right, I'm literally, I'm not... Right. Just gonna brighten those eyes up with some concealer, the beauty pie, love it. It really is the best. On those lids, it brightens them up straight away. I'm not going to go too mad with makeup today because I'm only going Tesco's and Marks and Spencer's. That's that done. A little bit around the nose. So 
some Codate mascara. I often uh, think about doing an F and F haul. I don't know how many of you are fans of F and F. I absolutely love it. Although it's got really pricey, I feel. But I can't link anything for you. Um, when am I going back? About three years ago, I used to feature it on my website all the time, uh, Tesco's, because I could link it. I find on the, the blog and on here on YouTube, if I can't link items, people don't like it. So that's why I've never done it, but I, I quite fancy doing a Tesco's haul. And I know a lot of you wanted um, Dorothy Perkins, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. A little bit of Wonder, Wonderlust Code 8, my favourite. This is like a no makeup look, but just makes you look a little bit healthier. I really feel that my sad syndrome has kicked in. I'm just about done with this dark weather. It is awful today. Roll on the new year. Another coat of mascara. I'm not even gonna bother doing the hair because it is chucking it down. Tiny little bit of sunny flash, I think. Do you know, I've had this well over a year and I really like it for a nice little glow. Look, you can see it's just coming to the end. Sunny flash, this is by Terry. I think this is in a medium. Brightening CC powder, sun, sunny flash in medium, yeah. It's really simple, it just gives you that little, little bit of glow. It looks really overdone in this mirror, but trust me, it's not. That's it. Nice natural look. It doesn't look very natural in there, though. <laughs> oh, Laurie, why are you even filming this? People can't even see the proper colour if I can get closer into the window. There you go. That's a lot better. Right, so I'm just going to get dressed now. Get dressed, get cracking. Sort the day out. Anyone would think it was night time. Um, oh, here is said outfit. I'm wearing the knitted dress from last year, H&M, last year. This has been a lovely little dress to wear. I don't even iron it, it just goes straight in the machine. I could have put some different knickers on. I think I'm going to change them. I've got a slip on underneath. So it's just like a knee length slip, but you can still see that nickel line, I don't like that. So I'm going to change those straight away. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think the light's really glary here too, actually that's not too bad. Um, it's so, you can't see, look, but that is two o'clock in the afternoon ladies so dark unbelievable yes anyway this is the outfit of the day so the H&M dress these were as cheap as chips as well there's a little split up the back I normally dress this up with a nice belt and a blazer it looks really nice cream boots from Dorothy Perkins not leather but I have loved these boots 
Um, yeah, I'm just going to pick a jacket. Camel uh, cashmere blend this is. There's a belt, a tie belt. I have loved this coat. Uh, this was from last year as well. I'm pretty sure this was from L'Atelier. It's quite nippy out there, so yeah, it's the same length as the dress as well, so it's perfect. Let's go shopping. Oh, and I found something in my pocket. What is that? A, a five pound note? I love it when that happens. Who loves it when that happens? There's some change as well. Is there much change? Not a lot. Not a lot of change. But I don't mind the five pound. The sky it's like night time. I don't know if you can make that out in the camera. Oh, oops. I just got absolutely soaked. Just get into the car. My umbrella's in the car. How many of us do that? Leave the umbrella in the car. Duh, that was stupid. So yes, off to Tesco's now. There's a lot of roads flooded. A lot of roads flooded. Oh my goodness. Anyway, might have a little float round Tesco's while we're there, you know. So, uh, I haven't looked at the fashion in there for ages. But, I will say, I love the, is it the Scott and Ivy? Scott and I, oh you are rocking about. The Scott and Ivy sheets, they're brilliant. Try one of their fitted sheets. If you like nice, crispy cotton sheets, go for those. They're really good. And they're very reasonable as well. Right, I'll see you in there. These are the knickers I always buy. Tesco's. They are absolutely the best. I've tried Primark. I've tried H&M. These feel lovely on and they're a brilliant shape. You don't get any seams with these and they are so comfortable. These are six pounds. They're worth it, trust me. This is really lovely. Cozy hoodie and trousers. They're very balloonified, the trousers, but um, so soft, really nice. I've always found the Magic Stretch Jeans Tesco's very good as well. I still wear the ones that I've got. Don't know if they've got them in here. Push up, mid rise sculpting jeans. They would be nice, but I'm not really into all those rips anymore. Ultra Comfort, there's, there's, um, Tesco's jeans are definitely worth a try on in the changing room. They're a good price, brilliant fit, and I like that you can get different leg lengths as well. Anyway, 30 minutes till closing, so I'm going to race round and get my shopping. Right, so picked up that m and parcel, two bags. Looking forward to having a try on. Doesn't look a lot, does it? But there should be quite a lot in there. And uh, I know you all love them, Marks and Spencer's haul, so I think I'll be doing more of those this year. Um, and I picked Bo up a blanket, a really fluffy pink blanket. I got this in uh, Home Bargains. It was only £11, so, and it's huge, absolutely huge. That's doubled over on there. So... She's going to be nice and cosy. Since I've been um, working upstairs with the PC, she tends to come and lay on that puffet so much and she's going to wreck it. She'll just make it rotten. So uh, I've bought a pink blanket for her. Yeah, she'll love it. See you tomorrow. Morning, everyone. It's New Year's Eve. 
and we're out tonight with a lot of friends but it's only the local pub and I don't do a lot of really dressy evening wear as you most probably know but I have seen a really nice top in the resale uh, I tried to get it delivered on time but it's not happening so I've talked to Dee into taking me to Blue Water to pick up this top on New Year's Eve you've got to love her because who wants to do big shopping centres on New Year's Eve and you know it's going to be a busy night so big brownie points for Dee taking me this morning Let's have a look and see what I've got on. hope it's not too dark. I've just thrown something on really quick. It's the H&M cigarette trousers. The um, cardigan from H&M as well. I'm a full H&M girl this morning. And this silk scarf, I just think it just adds that little bit of colour. This is by Ruby Kite. <laughs> Um, uh, the jumper, I think these are £12, the trousers are £20, so that's £32. But I think the scarf costs over £100. <laughs> what a contrast. But yeah, it's just comfortable. I'm literally going to scoot into Reese, have a try on and then come back. So I'm going to take you with me, of course. So let's see how the day progresses. I'm in a bit of a heaven ladies, blue water is so easy to find and this is most probably one of the biggest wrist stores that I've ever seen. Anyway, let's have a look, little look round and find something to wear for tonight.
here I am, all ready to go. This is what I went for, the red Reese top. Um, I've had to tan because uh, you've got that little bit on show, but I absolutely love it. You need to do some adjusting when you put this on to make it look perfect. It's very similar to bandage, you know the bandage dresses, it really does hug you in. And I did intend on wearing it with trousers, but I find it ruched up, you know, it's just, it's just a little bit lumpy. So I've worn it over a skirt like this, I think it would be great tucked in with jeans yeah i really really pleased with it i love this detailing on the front here and i'm wearing a strapless bra with this it's been down a little bit yeah i'm wearing a strapless bra it's the best strapless bra ever i'm gonna i've got the nude one on i'm gonna show you the one in black so this is it this is the same version but in black it's a fantasy bra you do get straps with it but it's the only strapless bra i've ever found to stay in place hold me up and be comfortable it's something about this really wide back and it's got like sticky bits as well it's slightly tacky um, especially on that area there you can just see that but yeah excellent 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 brows so yes I keep meaning to do um, let's raise that up I keep meaning to do a film on underwear I think that would be good um, give you some little tips just the things that I've learnt as I've got older <laughs> older um, but getting back to the Reese uh, try on, that cream blazer was just to die for. I definitely want a cream blazer from Reese or a blazer of some sort. I've made my mind up. I'm going to invest in one very soon when I've saved up some more Christmas pennies. You know, I'll most probably add to it maybe find one in the sale but that blazer the cream one i loved the brown one but it was a little bit shiny i love the cream although it's very smart i might look at blazers in reese that i could wear all the time i'd, I'd need to get my cost per wear out of it so i'm in a bit of a dilemma but that cream one i tried it on i was just I want this blazer, it, it was absolutely stunning. That's gonna look great over anything in summer. Dresses, trousers, black, cream and black, oh, beautiful. Um, shut up, Laurie, cause you'll end up going back and buying it. But yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed that little try on. But yeah, and I did intend to get the cream version of this. It was what I looked at online. I tried to order it, but I couldn't get it in time. And Dee just said, let's drive up there, you know, and take a chance. And they had quite a few. And she said, try the red on. You know, Dee loves me in red. So I tried the red and I thought, do you know what? It looks so much better in red. It, was, it seemed a lot more casual in the crepe. I would still like it. I would most probably wear it a lot in daytime in summer. But you know, this is what I was saying about when you're our age, nearly 60, um, you don't want to be too showy. And I just thought this was, it's showy but not showy, if that makes sense. I just thought it was good. I've paired it with the skirt, let's lift you off. Yes, so this is the Lily Silk black silk skirt. I hope you can see that okay. And the boots. Um, I was going to wear heels, but I've changed my mind. It's freezing. We're only going to a pub. And I just love these new boots. I got these from Stradivarius. This was part of my Christmas present. Um, and there's a new in accessories haul coming up because I've got quite a lot of let's do this. 
I've got quite a lot of um, new in accessories to share with you but yeah I'm quite pleased with the outfit yes love it and I've got a red lip on this red lip from look fabulous forever I never wear red but this it just goes perfect with the top doesn't it I love it I look very orangey because it's dark So that's it, I'm going to rush off now, I'm using the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag as well and yes I'm going to bid you all a happy new year and I want to thank you all for sticking with me this past couple of years, I've met a lot of new followers this last couple of years that chat to me every week and it's great and it it makes it worthwhile I love it so I just want to thank you all for the support and it's much appreciated and if you're new here and you've enjoyed the film please subscribe I'd love for you to come on the journey with me I'm doing hopefully next year a weekly vlog each week and a fashion vlog each week so that's the plan I will try and stick to it I promise but yeah whatever I'm doing I, I'd love you to join me but um, thanks to all the people that have supported me this last year or so it's been very lovely really nice happy new year to you all please give a new year's thumbs up to the film that would be great and I'll see you in the next one